If you look at a camera, it's really composed of just these plastic or glass lenses. And often you need, say, six elements in a camera, six different lenses in order to make a good image. What we do at MetaLens is completely different. A metal lens is a completely flat optic composed of these nanostructures, which are about a thousandth of the width of a human hair. But we can combine the functionality of, say, five different lens elements into one single flat layer. If you look at a traditional camera, what you'll typically get is just the intensity of, of the scene. But with a metasurface, we can actually access a whole new set of information from a scene that traditionally gets ignored by a conventional camera. We're trying to change the way that our devices interact with the world, the way that they perceive the world, whether that's smartphones, in your car, or medical devices, and really try to change the performance and enable new applications. I think here it's a combination of science and technology at the highest level. Meta lenses will allow new inventions right, that are not possible with current technology. The impact will come from the convergence of the chip making industry and lens making. We're actually moving lenses into the semiconductor foundry. So what this means is you're already making the image sensor, you're already making the electronics for phones in those foundries. So it gives you a, a huge advantage in terms of supply chain consolidation, but also now you can look at entirely new ways to integrate and assemble camera modules because the lenses are in the same foundries making the electronics. Now with MetaLens technology, being able to simplify these modules, being able to improve their performance, we're not just going to be getting the same information set that we can see with our eyes anymore. We're going to be sensing much more about the world because of MetaLens technology.